good, y'all? It's your boy Black G92. Now, for this week, plan on doing recording two reaction videos per day, at least try to, and at least two or three of the days, the other videos will be live streams on a couple of albums, maybe three, as well as the EP that have released like within the past week or months on end of that came out this year. Most of recent records I haven't have yet to listen to and get my feedback on so it's gonna be a few days where i do live stream so stay tuned for that now today i'm doing a reaction on a tmz interview where juvenile is basically explaining how educating his community drove him to back set thing up remix which judging by the title i just think is a load of bullshit because <laughs> if you haven't seen my reaction to the song back set thing up you already know why I stand on the song. It's a lot of foolery and just unnecessary and just cringe. <laughs> For real, man. It if Ju Juvie tried way too hard to peel, get black folks to take the vaccine, man. Because that's what it that's what it really was. Like the try, there's like a desperate attempt to get black folks to take the vaccine. That's all it was, man. And there was uh, cause there was other ways he could have done it. If he if that's if you want to educate the community about the vaccine and all that shit, he could have did something completely different. But nope. What's up with the twerk anthem? But <laughs> I haven't heard the video. But I'm gonna I, I haven't even seen the video, so we're going ahead to see what it what his reasoning is. You know, because I'm open to hearing what people have to say. I wanted to hear people out before I give a final judgment. So we're gonna see what he ha has to say on TMZ and about Three, two, one. So tell us how this came together. Well, the day now BLK got at us about, uh, you know, doing a, a remix to to uh, back that ass up for okay. for uh, the site, for the dating site. But um, when when I... Hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and play it back. I don't know. I'm just kind of... I get, get myself in the mood. Well, the day now BLK got at us about uh you know doing a, a remix to to uh back that ass up for for uh the site for the dating site but um when when i at first i was kind of skeptical skeptical about it but when i heard it was about vaccination and, and convincing people before they go get uh you know go out to date or look for a date or have any dates what kind of bullshit explanation is that like why why like Instead of perhaps oh, letting people decide on their own, they was like, oh, we got to warn, warn people to get vaccine before they have sex. What kind of fucking shit is that? What? It's so COVID is all of a sudden a fucking STD now? Come on now. Like, black, come on. Black dating, they take a fucking fat L. I'm sorry if I'm just spazzing on this, but I'm just going to remain calm throughout this video. I'm trying to remain calm about this video, but that just did not make sense at all. Why? Just why? We're going to continue here what juveniles say. Now, I understand why he was skeptical about doing uh, doing advertisement for their dating app because apparently it's not really it's it's relatively new. I'm just going to say that. Like, black dating seems like it's a new app. Just want to get out there, you know, get their name, you know, just want to get their name out. So, I mean, so, okay, so according to Juvie, they reached out to him to want, want they reached out to him to do a remix of Back that ass up, which is a classic twerk anthem, and wanted to get people to look in the app and look at the app and shit. So they could have, they could have stop right there. Like it could. You know, they they should make sure that that person that they're dealing with is vaccinated. And I just thought it was a great idea, a great idea to get to some of the youths, some of the, you know a lot of people that look like me. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of us ain't. You know, well, I, I've been vaccinated, but a lot of us. Of Still not educated on it, scared of it. Just think about how many lives we will. Bruh, bruh. So you just saying that the I'm now I'm not denying that there's some folks out there in, in the black community that have not been ed, perhaps not been educated, but for the most part, we are fucking educated on vaccines, vaccines, and like also just the malpractice of the medical medical industry in general. So that that so that part of it. Ha so it's is part of it's true. Other part is not even true, but it's more of a generalization because we are we are most of us are educated. And we just naturally skeptical because 
So he can, you know what? I'm going to rephrase this. So he's just going to forget about the Tuskegee experiment. Eh? Or the Henrietta Lacks. Henrietta Lacks. Like, case. There, we have reasons of not wanting to just hop up and take the vaccine, my dude. <laughs> There's legit reasons. It's not because of lack of education. Some of us know what the fuck that, <laughs> you know, that the medical industry has always been good for the community. So, yeah, that's the generalization. Shut up. I've been vaccinated, but a lot of us still not educated on it, scared of it. Just think about how many lives we will save and how many people that will go out and, and get vaccinated because of this. And, and think about, you know, uh, where we are at, as, as a people right now. You know, uh, we the last people to get vaccinated. So I think okay. we need to really focus on our people and everybody around us and our loved ones and, and actually go get vaccinated. One of my guys, one of my close friends just told me this morning, his son actually went out and got vaccinated because he saw the Vax That Thing video. So I, wow. I, I feel like I've already saved one life. So it's, it's, it's already positive for me. Hey, uh, I noticed, I can't, it looks like you're, you're on a set um, for something. Yeah. What, what, are you, what are you shooting today? Oh. Well, like I said before earlier, there's legit reasons. Like, it's not just some conspiracy or nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Lord. And not even just going through the history. Like, not even just that. Like, just the simple fact that the vaccine only took, like, six months to get the, made in the lab and just put out there. Like, it didn't stand, it wasn't put through trial enough. It didn't, you know what I mean? Like, it was six months. Like, most other vaccines take a lot longer than that. You don't think that's suspicious, my guy? Like, oh my God. Like, it's, it's almost like, and when you think about it, it's still, I, don't, I ain't gonna say experimental cocktail, cause, but it's damn near. Because, like, again, yeah, six months in. And plus, I've read the little paper saying, oh, it's safe, effective, blah, blah, blah. Nonetheless, months later, Johnson & Johnson, of course, they made their little brand or whatever, and there's been some, like, corruption going on there so you know what i mean so it's just going okay but if if what juvenile is saying about like one one of his partner's sons getting the vaccine because the the song hey good for him good for the kid inside to do that like at least he made his own decision to do that and as far as everyone else it should be up to the individual it shouldn't be have to be like that's you no know, you know what I'm gonna save all my pants to the end of this video. Yeah, made by Juvie. Well, I just put I set the setup because I knew I was gonna be going TMZ today, and I'm trying to show off some of my. my <laughs> oh, I like that. So, all right, I, I heard about this. Tell us what made by you. This is something you kind of picked up during uh, during quarantine, right? Yeah, during quarantine, uh, started making uh, furniture. Started making furniture, uh, tables, lamps. I got a website. It's called MadeByJuvie.com. <laughs> this pretty wow. much was my daughter, my daughter's idea, but she 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 got her daddy going, she got pops going. Just trying to do something different with my time, you know. Uh, my pops taught me carpentry as a kid, and uh, my father-in-law during the pandemic started teaching me about ele electronics and teaching me how to wire things. So I, I just put it all together. Wow. Now the last part is impressive, and I did, and he did mention. Now that's very, that's also true as well, because I seen interview that Juvie did on uh, Vlad TV where he mentioned that he's he did carpentry whatever when he was a kid with his pops and everything growing up in New Orleans so that checks out but the other shit as far as this explanation as far as I want to educate the community and such about taking the vaccine and everything that's that's a cop out man that's a, there's other ways you could have done that if you really was passionate about educating educating the community about like taking the vaccine and the side effects and like how safe it is. There's other routes aside from that twerk song. Like, come on now. <laughs> you got something I click in your head that that was just a bad idea overall. Like, cause again, it's going to make it seem like, like you got to do all this extra shit to just get, get us to like fucking take the vaccine. Like you don't need to take all that shit. It don't, it don't. <laughs> Like that that's just a cop out. Like for real. There's other ways you could have done that. And if you just if you want to collaborate with them to like pr promote their dating app, they could have done that without the vaccine. Cause I seen 
something on tick not even TikTok, but Tinder about people was like supposed to vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. I mean, okay, cool, whoop your damn do. I don't I just came here to clap some cheeks. I'm not here to worry about viruses, shit. Well, of course I'm concerned about like keep making myself make sure I'm protected from SCDs, but as far as like that shit, like I don't want to go on no day nap or think about that. I'm worried about clapping cheeks. But anyway, man, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get back on the subject, man. Like, there's a lot I can say about this, man, because I'm going to have to, because I want, because I don't want to seem like I'm repeating myself, but there's other ways you could just, like, educate the community. If that's something you wanted to do, then there's other ways. You didn't have to record a remix to a twerk anthem. Like, you didn't have to do all that. You didn't have to call Manny Fresh and Mia X to make, the, make yourselves look stupid. Fucking stupid. That's what it is. Y'all made yourselves look stupid. And looking desperate like y'all hurting for money. Because what? I mean, because what are the reasons inside that except just to get some type of financial, like, benefits from the shit? Like, because honestly, like, because what other... Again, what other reason you have to the, have to record a remix and a music video to like trying to get black people to take the vaccine? There's some financial gain to it. This that's just another bad look too. Cause like again, you just like basically just like fucking just sold this bullshit. Expect this this one up there. Yay, we're gonna take one because we hear in the song. Nah, fuck all that. Fuck that. Fuck that line of thinking, man. People need to change their mindset, for real. <laughs> Quick. Because imagine if this was happening to any other race. They, or, you know what? I'm going to stop right there. Because this video probably is too long. And I, I can't take this shit no more. This is your boy, Black G92. About to sign off. Holla at your boy. Peace. And by the way, be sure to follow my social media accounts. And be sure to post your comments about what you think of this interview with whatnot. So, also, stay tuned for another reaction coming tonight. Some that's gonna like just get me, get me off this. Peace.